Coolio. Let's do this. I didn't need to do a Discord notification. One second. Discordian accordion. You can wait right there. That'll do. I think I do not have Discord open on my computer. <laughs> Give me a second here. Whew. We're going to build this Lego set. I need, or at least we're going to light it up now, tonight. We last start, um, two minutes ago, we cleaned it. Tonight, we light it up. Let's get its power going. Let me let everyone know that I'm online. Since we had to clean it last time, now it's time for lights. Let's fucking do this. Man, I was really, really fucking tired last night, man. Um, tired, my head hurt, dehydrated, so I'm getting... Uh, this new job, all this work. I'm getting better with um, staying hydrated and eating better. Oh, Sage and Awesome, hello guys. I miss you guys. We're getting into it. We're day. What day is today? Excuse me. Day two, right? Technically, we're beginning day three of working. Wait, is that right? Yes, it's three. Wait. I don't know. No, because then I just work Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Wait. So yes, so Sunday was day three. Fuck. What is happening? <laughs> I know. I miss you, cuz. It's so long. I'm, just, I'm working my little tail off. My little bunny tail. Work, working my little bunny tail off. I have to be up at like 8 a.m. So I literally am going to be up in about... No, oh, that's like eight hours. Oh, not even. Like seven hours from now. So I am going to make this stream really quick because I need to keep setting myself up for success. It's very important because um, my mom has treatment tomorrow. Sage, thank you for the biddies. Unfortunately, there's no sounds. There's no special animations tonight because I'm streaming directly from my iPad. So that's how we're going to be doing this because I'm going to move this over here. where We're going to light up the Grand Emporium, which you could barely see through all the pixels and, you know, poor lighting. But also the iPad doesn't seem to be doing so much so well in the low light settings, whereas iPhone can do it a little better. But anyways, um, yeah. Oh, what kind of sp what spooky game? Awesome. So tomorrow my mom has her treatment. So, uh, which is every other month usually is when we go. We were supposed to go this Thursday, but insurance fucked everything up. So fun. Anyways, um, we're going tomorrow. Well, today. So gosh, man, it's a lot. It's just a lot. You know, I've got, you know, just six days of work and then eight hour shifts. Well, today was seven hours, so that wasn't as bad. You know, it wasn't as bad. So yeah, today I'll be getting up early for her to do that. Um, I asked if I can come in a little later at work, so I, they said okay on that, because otherwise I was scheduled for like 2.15, um, but I'm gonna go in at four, four to 10, so it's not as bad, it's six hours. And then Tuesday and Wednesday will be my eight and a half hour shifts. So, and then finally, I will have a few days off. So, but I'm, I'm so, so excited about this, guys, because money, it'll be good, it'll be good. It's three years? That's awesome, though. You've been following the project, like, you know, the project and the progress, all that good stuff. So, Stumble Guys, that's the new one, huh, Gamer Girl? Sounds like a play on, um, you know, Fall Guys. All right, let's fucking do this. I'm so ready. Kind of. My feet kind of hurt, but let's fucking build this shit. <gasps> Guess what else came in the mail, everybody? From movie night. Fuck yeah. There it is. I got them all. Blu-ray. Got all of them. The whole thing. In fact, there's more. Six movies, ten shorts, five TV episodes. Man, we have a lot of watching. <laughs> so, we got Shrek. Shrek 2. Shrek the 3rd. Shrek Forever After. Puss in Boots. Shrek the Musical, which I wasn't really a huge big fan on that, but honestly, if we're all watching this stuff together, I'm down. Then we've got 10 shorts, which is Shrek in the Swamp. Yeah, we're not going to read all this, but 10 shorts. Five TV episodes from The Adventures of Puss in Boots. I'm so open to this. Sage, thank you for the biddies. Oh, thank you, thank you. So I just figured, guys, I just want to give you an update because this came in actually yesterday, I believe. Yesterday. I was really fucking tired. I was thinking if I was going to push myself to stream or even do this with you guys, but oh my gosh, you guys have no idea. Like, I didn't even do my orders for the plants that I'm doing. I didn't even, like, get on the computer. 
after work yesterday, this is why I'm getting better with hydrating myself and eating because holy shit, I was miserable when I got home. I was like, like in fetal position, kind of rocking myself, sitting down like in a, like a position, just holding my head like this and just sitting on my bed rocking because how fucking bad my head hurt. And I was trying to just drink water, eat food, and then I was eating, and I, was, I wasn't eating anything large. Like, I was eating this. I was eating a noodle bowl, just like this, last night, to try to get myself some food. And then I got some frozen fruit to eat, and while I was doing that, I, I literally thought I was gonna throw up for a second, because I was scarfing it all down for a minute. I had a whole bite in my mouth, and I was like, oh my gosh, what, like, this is how it's gonna go. So um, then I just kind of spit it out in the sink, and I was okay, though. I didn't, I didn't throw up, thankfully. But um, I was not good last night. I was really, really fucking miserable. So, but then that kind of subsided after about 30, 40 minutes, thankfully, after I was eating and drinking and having some fruit and some cookie dough. So, but yeah, um, wasn't great. Was not as great. So far today though, definitely was better on the hydration side and eating side. So I'm feeling way better today and tonight. So that's why I'm on here right now. Okay guys. Jeez, I'm not used to all this. I'm not used, I mean, even like eight hour shifts, like on average guys, I used to work like four, six hour, four to six hour shifts. I've never used to do these eight hour shifts and of these eight hour shifts, they're pretty, uh, pretty intense. A lot of running around. I did 16,000 steps yesterday, 16,000. And I didn't eat enough and I didn't drink enough. And that was a lot of, it was a lot. I did a lot on me. Uh, today wasn't as bad. I did just under 10,000 steps. So that wasn't um, as bad, at least. Oh, fuck. So, yeah. That was my night last night, guys. It was rough. It was rough. Okay. Um, yeah, so I probably should actually prop this up a little higher. I really want to use my desk for all this. Mm -mm. I could go get my little... Yeah, I'm going to do that. Be right back. There you are, reticles. Glad you could make it. Ah, oh, damn it. Let me actually do it. Son of a cock. I'll have you guys face this way, actually. All right, little leggy building, you get to go over here. So this stuff can go on my bed for now. There we lay go. Ah, Lego. Uh -huh. That was a bad one, huh? Just like Batula. It's a Batula. All right. Yeah, this shall work. This shall work. Anyways. I really do awesome, I know, I know. It's not fun. I don't really mean to, it just happens. I don't know, and I gotta tell you, I'm used to always, like, throughout working, I'm used to, like, just working, I guess. I don't know, or... But the shifts I would work, they never used to be, I never, I'm not used to eight hour shifts, to be fair, in all fairness. You know, I don't, I don't know, I've done, I've done, maybe I ate more in the past, I don't fucking know. I just gotta get better with that, for sure, because it's scary. I don't want to die, like fuck, I just don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this brand. I really hope it's a good brand, I really, really do. I usually like light tanning, but we'll see how these guys hold up. Uh, can I get away with that? Do you think I could stand the iPad on this? A little risky, but mm, I'll take a risk. Mm, you know what? Let's not, actually. I could see the iPad crashing down, and that would finally be the thing that would damage it. All right. There. Yeah, we'll see how this... We'll see the quality of this and how it holds up. Guys, we have another building to flood. You want to know which one it is? Do they smell weird? Eh. All right. So we do have another building to light up. It's going to be the um, restaurant. We also have to flood it. Because that one got very dusty as well. Just like this one. Just like the Grand Emporium here. Right, guys? Remember how we had to flood this bad boy? Well, the other one doesn't have the roof. I never finished the roof, right? So this roof basically lessened the blow of all the dust getting in inside, right? Well, the restaurant is completely open on the top. So we're talking like dust bunny galore. Just like ravaging the interior of that restaurant. So, um, yeah, we're going to be really doing some extensive dusting on that building when we get to it. Uh, I don't know when that'll be, but it should be soon, since I have more time to... Well, kind of. Since I... 
eventually should have more time to be on here. Day streams, at least, shall be more possible. At least there's that. Sometime soon. Now then, is it this? This is the user guide. I don't think we need this. What's this? If I can see that in English, I would love to be able to read this. Hmm. 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 Well then, we'll come back to that. Really? Aww. Well, I'm happy that you're happy of any kind of stream. I'm, I'm just happy to be on here too. Yeah, see, I don't like the cords. Wow, these seem shittier and cheaper. That's a that's a thin fucking cord. I don't like it. I already don't like it. No, not winning me over right now. So yeah, I'm gonna try to um, stay away from bricks max already. We'll see. Not a good first impression, at least. Um, I just know light tailing. This seems cheaper than what light tailing had. Thankfully, I think this is double, double A's. They totally are double A's. Fuck yeah. That's what I just bought last night at Target. Yeah, these seem cheaper. I just hope... I hope they don't wrap it around this thing. We pissed. Dude, do they not use, like, Lego-branded shit? Because I'll, I'll be a little upset. Because, see, light tailing does. They use Lego branded stuff. I'll be really sad. I would almost prefer not to use it. I can already see there's no way this is Lego branded. There's no fucking way. I knew it. I fucking knew it. You son of a bitch. Aw, oh, you cheap bastards, dude. Cheap fucking bastards. Oh, I can see the difference in the color. Ah, oh, cheap fucking assholes, dude. You fucking dickheads. You know what? I'm gonna double check and see if I can't get the light tailing because I don't even want to use this if I don't have to. Hi, Vi. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, well, well welcome. Welcome, Vi. Light. Please, I, I should have purchased you earlier. Please, not like this. Nah. Damn it, dude. I think this was the last kit, too. Damn, that sucks. I should have purchased it, dude. Ooh, that's fucking nuts. Oh, I don't know what I would do with these red. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to just use them anyway. That just really is unfortunate. Because I'm pretty certain Light Tailing uses actual Lego branded bricks. And these fucking cheapos didn't. That's so upsetting. That's like really disappointing. I'm really upset by that. Ugh. That's fucking awful, dude. Not to mention... Cheapest, thinnest little cords. Ugh. This is gonna be awful. I'm upset. Wait a minute, yeah, how am I gonna connect all these? Alright, well, we'll see how this works. Let's start, let's just, let's just give it a swig. See how it turns out. I think they're out of stock. I don't see anything now for light kits. At least on Amazon. So I'm thinking, um, I'm thinking that was it. Because if I pull this up, yep, it's now unavailable. Oh my gosh, no way. I was totally thinking of her. back. Let's see here. Let me, you know what? I wonder if anyone sells this stuff on Etsy. Come to think of it. Worth a shot. 
No fucking way. I think they do. What brand is this? But my question is, I don't like where I hear compatible with Lego. I don't like that. When you see compatible with Lego, that means we cheaped out and went with off-brand. Now, off-brand's okay and fine and dandy, right? But, like, in the case for when I'm specifically looking for, like, Lego brand, that's when, that's when it's a problem, you know? Because that's, that's what I'm looking for. Hmm. I personally would like, you know, maybe I should have gone with this brand. You know what we could do? You know what we could do? I could install these, right, just to give them a try. And then I could buy these over on um, Etsy. Because to be honest with you, I really like the way the lighting is. I don't think they do that on this one. They don't. So look at this picture. You can kind of see the lights, right? But look at all those windows, right? They're, the light's on the inside, and there's a light in the middle. Yeah, see, I don't know if I dig that. But this one, check this out. Look at this one. Oh my fuck, can you not? Look at this one. Look at all the lights on the windows. I think, in my opinion, this looks way more grand, right? I actually might just buy this and say, fuck it. I, I think I'd rather this one. And I bet you, I wonder if they did the RGB bullshit with the, uh... Let's see, what's this? Oh, see, I love the orange colors they went with. I'm about to fucking buy this, I think. What color is that chandelier? Show me the chandelier. I need to see. Show me that chandelier. Oh, you fucking assholes, they didn't. That's okay. Honestly, $36, free shipping. I'll get it by October 21st, November 1st. Uh, yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna buy it right now. Uh, put that on the dip cad. 40 bucks? Yeah, give me, give me. I'm buying it. I'm not. I don't think I want to install this one now. I don't know if I do. Maybe I should. I'm kind of back and forth because part of me doesn't like it, and I don't want to go through the hassle. But you know what, guys? There is experience behind it, and and there's experience about installing lights, uninstalling lights, and reinstalling lights, right? So why don't we give it a swig? Why not? Doesn't hurt. I mean, the only thing it hurts is potential damage to the building where if I like break something or something you know if I break something but I can always put it back together they're Legos so anyway yeah I guess the experience would be the only thing right because this one I'm not a huge fan of I'll show you guys the Amazon listing too um there's a video that it came with but that one definitely looked more warm so I'm going to show you guys the Amazon listing in the video that they sent with this with this one and then I'll show you guys what the um video for the other one that I just bought is See, I don't like that RGB. That was the thing that bothered me. But I only bought this one now because it's the only one else available. Oh, it's like soft RGB, I see now. It flickers, uh, but I know it changed. Hmm, so there's that one. What do you mean by? Why, cause, I, wait, wait. Why, like, just how I bought that on a whim like that? Well, only because I know I truly want something like this, right? And I want, I, you know what I mean? Like, I get it. I get what you're getting at here. Here's this video. This one's really, oh, this one's pretty. Wait, game. Fuck off. No, fuck off, game.
this one's so much better already. I do like the warmer lighting. Look at that. Oh, come on, guys, right? Like, that's way better. Softer. See, and I like how that top part isn't lit up, though, too. I thought about that. The top part makes... I get the idea behind lighting up the top part, but it just doesn't... Eh. Yeah, that's nice. Though the interior doesn't look as lit up, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, I already bought it. Oh, it's got lights in there, I guess. Yeah, it's got lights. I wonder what other um, sets they actually have it for. Light kits are so awesome. Well, let's get cracking. It can't be that much, right? It can't be that hard to do this. How big is this book? Yeah, it's quite sizable, actually. I see. Hmm. What the fuck? I don't know if I'm actually gonna do this. What the fuck kind of, like, this is bullshit. Wait, hang on a second. How are these, how are these even? What the fuck is this? What is this light kit? I'm so confused, dude. There's, these guys are fucking lazy little shits. That's what they are. I actually might even fi put in a review. I might even do a review. This is actual shit compared to light tailing. Light tailing used authentic Lego bricks, okay? And what they did was they actually embedded the LEDs into the bricks. So as an example, this brick right here, let's just pretend this is a light piece, okay? This part would clip onto the ceiling. This part, they would put LEDs like in the actual, like in here, either in the circles or they'd put it in here, right? They'd drill it in there somehow, right? Kind of whatever they did. But that's what they did. This one, in the first thing in the instructions, it's like all in pieces. It's like they want me to put these, they want, hang on, let me see. It's just, it looks like trash, is what this, this is all just, this is all fucking messy. I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like it. Very unhappy about this, actually. Very disappointed. Yeah, this is, this is upsetting. I mean, quality was the, first problem was the quality. You know, first impressions weren't great, then the quality came out, because like the first thing was, the issue was, I noticed this was cheap, and the cord was weird. And then I saw the actual true, true quality in the fucking bricks that they used. Then the third issue is now they're just fucking lazy is what they are. Yeah, the last one was definitely more seamless. And even then it was kind of a, you know, a little difficult at times. But this is sad. I'm sad. Not really. I'm not that sad about it. But it's disappointing. Where did this piece go? Oh, right here. That's fucking shitty, dude. Yeah, I'll see if I can return it, because this is pretty shit. Because otherwise, that's like, what, $60 in lighting? Only half of that money gets to be used for what it was spent on. Well, that was shit. Would never buy from this brand again. Nope, never. Just absolute trash. Trash. Yep. Uninstall. As we would say in gaming terms, this is actually garbage to me. Not to mention I wasn't crazy about its design anyway. I feel like I'm being a little harsh, but in all fairness, they, they did, to be fair, they did cheap out. I mean, and, and, and to, to kind of lighten up a little bit, the, the true facts here is they definitely cheaped out. They didn't use authentic Lego bricks. That's definitely a sign of cheapness. They, um, I feel like the way that they're having it wired is also a little strange and a little bit more difficult, I suppose, in my opinion at least. Um, maybe it is easier, because I'm so inexperienced when it comes to the LED stuff, but I think this is a little bit more difficult when it comes to, like, the average user, right? So, for example, I'll show you. So when we go to the first few pages here. How do we show you an example? I'll just show you by the end of the book, actually. 
Did it actually get worse? Let me see. How bad did it get? The way these wires are, dude, they're just so... I don't know, it's just weird. It is kind of interesting. It's kind of cool how it's like an electrical box idea. It's kind of a cute idea if you look at it that way. But it's just like... Weird. I don't know, it looks... Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just not good. Not a, not a fan. Yeah, anyways, that was, uh, that was a mess. That, that was, a uh, that was a mess. Yeah. Fucking Cox. How am I repackaging this? One at a time, perhaps? Well, guys, that's a disappointment. Now I don't know. Now we just wait a little bit, and one day we'll light it up. But now a week is probably, or, or like a week or two is going to go by, probably going to want to redust the fucking building. Good news is, the dust won't be as bad, so I'll probably just like use my mouth and just blow the dust off. That's probably what I'll have to do. So nothing, nothing major or anything. But it'll just, it'll sit for a little bit longer, I guess. Super annoying repackaging this because this bullshit thing wants to keep like sticking to everything. Was it not all in here? I thought it was. I think it all was in here. What is this? Oh, happy or unhappy. Yeah, I'll definitely attempt a return on that. Well, I guess it's a sign that I can get off the stream early. I suppose there's that, right? I guess that's the sign. Here's the box. Sign is I wasn't meant to stay up late tonight. Which is good, because I really don't, I don't want to stay up late, but I definitely wanted to do the light stuff. But that's okay. Perhaps another time. I'll just leave this on my desk here. Well, now the building just gets to sit and look pretty. I do like looking at it, though. It is a nice little building there, you know, just to look at. It's sheer, you know? It's fun to look at. It. It's got a lot to it. A lot of bricks. Yeah, look at all the bricks. But, uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah, but thankfully it'll be 4 to 10. So I think a 6-hour shift, so it won't be nearly as bad. Uh, however, though, right after that, um, the next two days after... After that is going to be 12 to 8:30. So, the only downside on that is getting up for 12, which isn't that bad. I should be able to still do at least some kind of stream. But I guess my next stream will getting will be getting back into The Sims 3, which I think where we left off was I was actually making Rockwell Acres look deserted. So, um, we'll have to pick up another family. We never really brought back. I never really brought back my uh, my Halloween family. We'll see. We'll see what I'm feeling. What I want to do. But yeah, awesome. I like it. It's older. It's nuts, dude. The, the value, guys, Lego value is fucking insane. 
this set, if you want to buy it brand new, somebody on Amazon is selling it for like $570. I'll tell you right now on eBay. Let me see what the cheapest one is. I'll tell you what the cheapest little e um, eBay set is. Hang on. So Lego, Grand Import. So what I'm getting at here, guys, is when if there's a Lego set you want, you want to buy it when it's out. That's the thing. So, yeah. Yeah, the old Lego face it is. PGL Dota? I'm not too sure. Nice game, girl. Nice. Hocus Pocus. Good for spooky season. I'll just do like a buy it now, brand new. Um, seriously, this guy's a fucking joke. Someone's selling the second floor only of the Grand Emporium for two hundred and twenty dollars. What? Are you serious? People are stupid. Are you fucking serious? It's not, it doesn't even have everything in the center. They're saying the second floor only and it's missing the interior. Not to mention, second floor, supposed to have the flags, bro. And this guy doesn't even have the fucking flags. What a fucking joke. He's a scam. And he sold 26 of them. What a little shitbag. Anyways, um, yeah, if you want one of these, they're $460 plus $35 shipping. Wow. So you'll be spending about $500 to get one. That's fucking stupid. That's crazy. They get expensive, guys. They really do. They really, really do. Wait, what is that red? What's recommended? What is four of them recommended? What about the uh, pet shop? I wonder what that's worth now. Of course. Plenty of these. There's like more than enough of these things. This, this set did not age well. In terms of like, it didn't like mature well for money. And that's just because they sold it for so many years. Yeah, it looks like the cheapest one. So the other one that we did, the other one, the first set we did for light ups, looks like it's about $300, which really isn't bad. It originally retailed for 150 so it just doubled in value. This was 150 as well. The difference is, the reason why this one costs more than the other one, not only because it's a corner unit, it being a corner, piece it has value in that sense but also it was sold for a much less amount of time i think actually i think the city hall is one of the most expensive ones i think modular oh you know what else is the most expensive actually the um the movie theater but dota 2 it's similar to league of legends I think it might predate it, actually. Movie theater. Oh, that's not bad. 400 bucks? I'm surprised. I thought that one was more expensive. So it turns out the city hall is more expensive. Holy shit. If you wanted a city hall, this building's fucking huge. Wow. Brand new sealed. It's fucking gigantic. Check this out. It's this one. They want... Their asking price is $825 plus $82 for shipping. Here is what the box looks like. So actually, ironically, this set is, is showing um, next to the two other sets that I literally own that are next to each other. So you can kind of get an idea for its scale. That's the one that's $800. That's the set that we did the original lights on. And then this is the Grand Emporium, which if you think the Grand Emporium is large, you can see this one's a little bit taller by a, just a bit. So yeah, that one, yeah, that's fucking crazy. Could you imagine, guys? Of course, I'm not sure if anyone's really buying it. 
and how often people would buy something like that, you know? That's just, it's crazy. These modulars, just sets like this. If there's a, if there's a Lego set you guys want to buy, it's best to buy it when you see it. That's what I recommend. I guess I'll leave it down here for now. Might as well. I'll let it hang here for a bit. Damn it. <laughs> this way, um, you know, it's fine. I get to look at it. Perfect. I guess there's nothing else to do now, guys. I mean, I don't think I have any other mini Lego sets to build. I don't think there's anything. There could be. We did the police car. We did the Minecraft one. It's kind of late for a Lego set, though. You know, I'd rather do this more as like a daytime thing. So maybe we'll do that. Yep. Yepper, yepper, yeppers. Yeppers. All right, hey, everybody. I'm gonna get going now. So, this was short. I don't even know how long I was on. But, I don't even think it was an hour. It don't, I don't think it was. But, okay, I'm gonna go. I guess I'm gonna get ready for bed and get some sleep because I'm gonna be up in six and a half hours. And I will feel that. I know I will. So, I will miss you guys too. Uh -huh. <laughs> we will get back into our swing of things. I don't even know if I can tomorrow. Technically, I could. But I'm not sure if I'll be able, I'm not sure if I'll be, like, in a good condition to do so. Due to the fact that I'm going to be getting six hours of sleep tonight. Not to mention I'll be up all after morning, afternoon. Then after that, I get to go straight to work. And I'll be there till fucking ten. I don't think I'm going to be on tomorrow. Mm -mm. No. Then I get to go right back into it again and getting up the next afternoon. So, kind of sucks right now. Kind of fucking sucks. But, I like what I do. At least for work. At least the work is good. I do like to work. I like the people that I've met there. All the coworkers are really cool. There's already one person I added on Discord. Not to mention, when I was there two and a half years ago, I added, I think, two or three other people on the Discord when I was there. So the people there are more my... Are more people that I, I feel like I get along with. Or they're more my kind of people, I guess, right? Because over at, like, Giant Eagle, I just it, just... it definitely wasn't my crowd, you know? It just... None of them were really gamers, and some of, a lot of them were, like, maybe just out of high school, and they were kind of in their own little clique. So it was kind of like, eh. It just wasn't, wasn't. I was so unhappy there compared to where I'm at now. I really do like my current job. It's quite nice. Target is very, really good. So, yeah. It'll be good. Really was expecting plants to be a little busier recently, Reticus, I will say, but I have... I've actually got to do plant orders, so when I get off of here, I'm gonna I'm gonna get those plant orders in because they actually they came in yesterday and I didn't I didn't put any orders in and I don't think I sold a, damn, a single fucking plant today, so I don't know what's going on. I really don't understand. I put more money into ads on the weekends and I get less sales. Doesn't make sense. We'll see. I'm waiting red for it to kick in like you said. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> You're putting it in my head, red. I'm expecting, I'm like, where, well, where's takeoff? I'm thinking, where's takeoff? Where, where is it? <laughs> so, but, um, I do need to get some more plants added as well. Ugh, it just sucks. And then I, I need to get these fucking videos out too, by the way. I, I, I was, I was gonna attempt to actually finish filming, um, the TikTok video today. Didn't have time for that. Um, I started... To actually, I'm trying to stage a building right now. I'm doing, like, staging for it. So this way the building looks good, and I want it to look like a good representation of my building skills. So this way, like, when I'm filming it, it looks good, at least. To, keep, to help, you know, all that stuff's important, because it also helps for retention for people to actually stay interested, too, I think, perhaps. But anyways, um, yeah, I just want to show off my skill, too, in the video. But I, I need to get that, I need to get that building ready. And I don't have to finish the building. I just need it to be enough to where wherever I'm filming, I need it to look good for where the camera shots are going to be at. That's all I care about. Because I can finish the building at a later date. I can put more time into actually finishing it, like on stream, things like that, so that you guys can see. But right now, I'm just I'm just throwing something together just so the video can look good. And then when that's done, I can finally voice record it. Um, 
yeah so really want to get that out it's really unfortunate because i wanted to do a halloween styled um tiktok video this year had it planned since last year and i haven't even had time to get to that even before when i had time i just wasn't sure how i was gonna film it so i don't know we'll see maybe i'll maybe i'll be able to crank something out before the end of the month we'll see i could i could maybe crank out the halloween one first and then put this one off for next month or vice versa or maybe i could do both at the, this month i don't know yet so I'm trying to balance that too I'm trying to get that going um yeah i would like to keep up with those videos and keep that um that content flowing going you never know because it has led to a couple meeting some sims 3 fans you know so i'd hope to keep that up and it seems to have actually surprisingly this was kind of interesting somebody tagged me in a youtube video and they did they did a detail in the sims 3 video and they tagged me at it i thought that was really cool so they were inspired to make a video like that because of the ones I made. And I thought that was pretty, that's pretty neat, you know? So I thought that was, um, I thought that was pretty cool. She said that, um, the detail she found was from when she was in loading. She just, cause when they were in loading, it was something with the nectar. It was a nectar bottle thing. So she talked about a detail. It was something from, like I said, it was one of the loading screens that tells you random details of the game. And this one happened to tell you about the nectar. So, but I thought that, I thought that was pretty cool. And, um, yeah, so. That was pretty neat, but anyways, I do wanna I do wanna keep making them. I do like making them. Perhaps I overproduce them in a sense, since I take so long to make them too. I just want to make sure they are presentable, and I want them to look really good, and well, I want them to look well made, I guess. But I yeah. So this guy's still dusty. I never really dusted the jester. He's got a dust spot right there. Yeah, I like Legos. I like Legos a lot. I kind of want to get the um, Birch book set, the other modular. I'm thinking about getting that one because I really like the light kit for it. So I might save up and get that. Once I start getting broken into Target and kind of working there for a little bit, a little bit being like a month, let's get through the holidays and we'll go from there. Then we'll gauge the value of getting that set. But I'm thinking about picking that one up actually. Let's just add to my collection of sets that I haven't built. I think um, I think I can stack a little bit higher to get to the ceiling. You know, I think I got some space. I got some space left. So. <laughs> You know, guys? Yeah, we got, we got more space. We can fit some more leggy sets. No, no worry. I, I see an open ceiling. That's what I see. I see space. So I'm going to do that. All right, Red, I'm not sure if I'll still be here, but I will see you later then, Riddicles. Dude, we should. Yes, yes, 100%. Because then we can watch the, the second Lego movie. I haven't seen it yet. So I'm thinking we could do that. Um, but yeah, this will be nice, guys. This job will allow me to turn money, physical labor, into Lego. I do some, I do a magic trick. I, I run laps in the store, and then and then that equals Lego. <laughs> Who knew? A couple steps here and there turns into a Lego set. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of them up there. It's exciting. I can't wait to catch up on everything, bills and whatnot. I just want to throw my... I just need to get that credit card debt paid off as soon as possible. That's my first priority. First priority. I want that paid off as soon as I fucking can. So, once my credit card is aggressively paid off... Aggressively pays... It's like aggressively pays bill. <laughs> I need to do that. Once I've aggressively paid off my credit card bill, I will then start paying down that car. I want to pay the shit out of that car. It's like, I'm going to pay the... I'm going to pay the fuck... Oh, wait. No, I can't... I can't word it that way. It doesn't rhyme that well. I'm gonna pay the fuck out of you. No, that could work. I'm gonna pay the fuck out of you. Yeah. <laughs> pay the shit out of you. <laughs> I don't know. I want to get that paid off too. So, you know, it'd be nice. The car is older, so it's not like I really want it to be. I don't want to have an outstanding debt on it too long because I feel like I'm just waiting for the first maintenance thing to happen. I mean, it's coming up to ten years already, so it's gonna it might not feel too good when you have to replace something relatively large if you have if i have to do some if i have to do some kind of maintenance work on it that's gonna be like four or five hundred dollars and then I, on top of that month because when i pay 500 let's just say i have to pay 500 dollars on a, on a work on a job then it's like oh but here by the way you have to spend 200 dollars on the loan and i'm like ah you know i get car i i understand having to pay um you know maintenance and all that stuff it just sucks to have to do maintenance on top of paying for the car oh welcome back red we're still here <laughs> so yeah i don't know we'll see i do wish it could have been a little newer 
when I think of it that way and that aspect, I mean, I'm very grateful and happy for what I have. I just hope that it lasts, is all, without having any major work or anything that it needs. So, but everything should be pretty good on it. The way I drive, honestly, brakes probably won't need to be done for a few years. And tires probably won't need to be changed for a few years. In fact, the tires are probably going to get dry rot, just like my last pair did. That's what happened. They had, they got treated like an old lady. I just didn't drive the fucking car. And I think I'm coming up to about a month, so I think I'll be needing to get, I think I need to fill my tank here soon. It's been, a, it's been about a month, so I think I need to fill my tank again. <laughs> oh my gosh, Fred. Well, hopefully it all came out okay. Did you get, are you sure? I don't want you to rush. Poop time isn't rush time. You gotta make sure it all comes out. You gotta make sure it's all clean back there, you know? I will. I will, Gamer Grill. I will. I will. We will get there together. That's fair, Red. I will save him pooping more. But yes. Oh, you know why? I know why. I've been eating those, um, those granola bars every fucking morning. I'll tell you guys this brand. It's really good. They get a good rating. Yuka likes them. I like them. Hold on. Let me get them. All right, everybody. Here's what we're looking at. We got banana and peanut butter. Peanut butter and banana, sorry. Um, I had that this afternoon. This, well, yeah, afternoon. I decided to give them a swig. I'm not a huge banana fan, but to be honest with you guys, with the cheapness of prices for bananas, I kind of want to give them another chance. I really do. So, there's that. Red. Come on. Let's not bring gender into this. <laughs> and then we got peanut butter, chocolate, and oats. Mmm. Mmm. Silliness. It's sillies. Okay. The best one. <laughs> fair. I mean, that's fair. That's a fair point. That's a fair point. Okay, so, um, yeah, this is the best one, though. 100% the best one. I bought two boxes of these and one of each on these. They're, they're a little expensive. These are, like, five-something. I think they're, like, five-fifty. So it is a little pricey, to be fair to you guys, I will say. Um, yeah, I definitely think it's, I think it's a little pricey, but for what you're getting, you don't get any, as, as far as I know, poison in your food, except for the sugar. That's the worst thing. Cause obviously sugar is really bad for us, but I would rather take some sugar than something that has improved to, to, has, to increase your risk of like colon cancer or are there any other carcinogenics, you know? So I'm okay with that. Because when I see that in the UK app, I'm like, no, I don't want to eat that. No thanks. So, but this is, these are pretty good. Um, I like them. I think they're a good brand. If you guys want to give them a try, if you're a fan of peanut butter and jelly, I would recommend giving that one a try. If you like chocolate, then you might like the peanut butter and chocolate one instead. Personally, I really fucking love the peanut butter and jelly because it tastes like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's really fucking good. Let me put them back in my closet now. Oh my gosh. All right. All right, everybody. I'm going to miss you guys. I'm going to miss you guys. Let's go back to my desk. I'm going to make sure my iPad doesn't fall. Ooh. I want to do more leggy stuff. Do more leggy stuff. So many leggy things, you know? There's so many to do. So many to do, you know? Like... You got all these little leggies just being Lego sets, you know? I have shit. There's just so much shit I have. I remember when we got this stuff throughout the year, these two items. Yep, yeah, that happened when I was working at Staples. I remember. I got this guy, and then I was like in a rush to get this guy. And then I got this earlier last year, in like February, I think. And then that was recent. That was like 20 bucks. And then, yeah, we got all these little leggy sets. Oh, little leggies. Him Taro. Remember when we secured Him Taro? And there's the other big modular we have to build together. So, a lot of stuff. Not to mention, guys. Oh, oh what's on the shelf? I see some leggies. Yep. It is full to the brim back there of Lego sets. It's pretty, pretty packed, I would say, for uh, nightstand, I believe is what that is. So that's, that's pretty, that's full of a lot of smaller Lego sets too. I've got a little mini Le uh, Ninjago Lego set. I believe I have my COVID Lego set. I'll show you. So 
when I got my first shot, I think, or my second shot. I think it was my first one. I don't remember now. It might have been, it might have been my first one to kind of treat myself like I did it. I bought myself this. It was the Lego Movie, I guess, two, right? Yeah, a Lego Movie two Lego set. And now the reason why I bought it, what's gonna suck is, guys, when I watched the Lego Movie two, um, when we did the vaccines. Um, I wonder if the value of this set is gonna go up for myself, like me personally. I'm probably gonna be like, "Whoa, this is really cool now," because we maybe meet the characters. But now, what's gonna suck is there's gonna be other Lego sets from this time that I probably missed out on, and then I'll be like, "Oh, time to go on eBay." <laughs> but anyways, I thought it was really cute because it's styled. Ba it's based off of like the 1980s um, space, so that's what this is: classic space. Like that logo right there, and this design, like the gray blocks. Look at the the look of them right there. Their faces, right? So all of them, and like that that car too. It's based off of like the '80s um, space series, which this is actually that's Benny. He's introduced in um, Lego Movie One in the Lego Movie. So he comes back, and it looks like he's got buddies here. So I thought this set was really cool. I think it kind of is cute to pay tribute to that kind of stuff. His spaceship, spaceship, spaceship is also based on that, which I have that one built. Um, it's kind of buried under an airplane. So, yeah, we got that set. The other one I told you guys about, the Ninjago one, is this one. I got it on clearance, I think, at Target um, a couple of years ago, I think, at this point. So that's what this one is. But I thought it was kind of cute because it's got a little ice guy. He's the bad guy. Then it's got Lloyd. It's got some wolves, you know, or maybe wolf. It's got a wolf. So I thought it was kind of cute. It was a cute little leggy set, you know? Sword and ice. It's kind of cute. So, I don't know. I felt like for what it was, why not? And there's some more in the back. Got a lot back there. I've got some ice cream trucks. I don't think I ever built mine, actually. My niece built hers, though. I do really want to build this one. Because, guys, here's what I have. Fuck off, please. My um, cushion is still really good, right? The cushion I bought like, for 40 bucks on Amazon. However, apparently there's rubber pads underneath them, see? Those may look like pretty visible, just because they're visible. They're not really as rubbery anymore, and I think it's just from the constant use of me sitting on it and moving it around, so it's gotten worn. So now the rubber padding isn't really gripping to my chair as much anymore, so I gotta be very careful. Anyways, this set I really wanna build. Um, it's behind these. It's this. See? It's a camper van. Oh, isn't this ironic, Red? Because you're doing all the camper stuff, see? And, like, the the walls of it open up to an interior. Um, but, yeah, you can kind of see. Look, at they got a baby. Oh, my gosh. Look at the baby. <laughs> Look at the baby Lego guy. So that's, like, newer. They've been, That's, like, a new brick. I think they've only recently been doing that in the recent, like, years, I would say. Oh, there's a jack o lantern close up. Get to see what he looks like. Anyways, yeah, so, uh, actually, the, he might have even, I don't know if he was first introduced in this one. This is the one that was from 2016. It's the, it's the uh, Assembly Square. There's also a baby in that one, too. Um, yeah. I'm trying to think here. The other two, there's, this one I'm not, I don't want to build this one. I already have this one built. I, I can't, um, I don't think I can really reach. See, because when I do a Lego day stream, guys, we actually also, when we do the the restaurant, we need to dig through all these boxes. I have to grab the ladder again. We're going to clear out all those boxes, and we're going to be looking for a large box to find the instructions to finally finish the Persian restaurant, if that's how you say it. Is it a Persian restaurant? Or is it? I don't, know, I don't remember what it is. The restaurant's called like Chez Albert or something like that. I don't know. There you guys can might be able to see it here. I might be able to get you guys to... You can't read that, hang on. There we go. There she is, without a roof. Oh, it's gonna be so dusty. It's gonna be so dusty. Oh no. I can already tell. I already know it is, because I've seen it. I've seen the dust on it. Yeah. Shea Albert, huh? Okay, all right. Yeah, so anyway. Yeah, I didn't finish the roof. I finished the first two pieces, though. The first floor, second floor, didn't do the roof. So we'll do the roof together, guys. Then we'll get the light kit. I might actually buy the light kit soon. Might as well. 
just to secure it, just to have it, have one that I want. I would like to have stayed within the same brands just so I know that everything, I know what to expect when I'm getting it, right? So when I buy this other one for the restaurant, I'm gonna try to stick with um, the light tailing brand. This way I know what to expect, I guess. Hopefully it works. Cause um, I, I did notice one issue in the um, product photos on Amazon. It looked like the roof was like put on a little bit more forward like it overhung, it would overhang and it's not supposed to. Because each floor can be take, picked up and removed as we've seen here. How we can just like kind of lift this up like that. But it looked like the restaurant, when I was looking at the light kit, after the lights were installed, it looks like they had the roof like this. Like moved a little bit more forward, see? So it would overhang the front more and the back would kind of be all weird. So I don't know. What I'm worried about is if I buy that light kit, Will that mean the cords are what's preventing them from placing the roof in the right spot? That's what I was worried about. So the problem is it's the brand that I want. The lighting doesn't look bad. At least I have to review it again. So I'm just, you know what I mean? We'll see. I might take another gamble at it. Just fucking say fuck it and risk it. But uh, yeah. And then I got to change the batteries for the pet shop. I really don't want to do batteries anymore. Though. I definitely want to get away from that. I actually just changed the batteries to, to something under here. I actually installed these lights under my uh, windowsill here, like, years ago. But check this out. Here. See? It's a little LED strip. So, I had that there a while ago. And it was, like, dead. These batteries are bad. In fact, they're so bad that one's leaking battery acid. So that was fun. Had to make sure to be careful on that. But of course, it works like any other LED strip, and it responds to my remote. So if I just, you know, do this, you know, I can do that. I can go to spooky colors. Oh, that's apparently orange. That doesn't look like orange at all. That looks like it went from orange. This looks like it went from red to white on your guys. For you, I bet. I think to you guys, that probably looks white, like a warm white. But no, that looks a lot more yellow on my for my eyes. Here's yellow. That doesn't look like yellow. It looks more green. So anyways. It's kind of cool. Yeah, I don't really... Uh, eh. The light strip's okay. It's old. It's battery powered. Uh, it's kind of shit for that, for that. You know? Using battery for this is just very inefficient. In my opinion, I'd rather be using USB and plugging that into an outlet. So this way it could run constantly too. So, yes. All right then. Well then, I will go now. So I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Like even if I'm really, if I'm not feeling good, maybe I could do a quick little iPad stream, and it's like a, almost like a vlog. I'll let you guys know how I'm doing, give you guys an update on how my day went. Maybe we could do that. Maybe I can get food. I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner tomorrow. Maybe I can get food. I can just hop on here for a second. Maybe I can just eat some tacos at my laptop with you guys or some shit. I don't know. Maybe we could do that. Because I don't imagine myself being in a... I don't know. I don't see myself being in a really good spot tomorrow either. In the fact, just, I gotta get some sleep. So that's what I gotta do. The more sleep I get, the better I'll be tomorrow is what matters. So I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully. <laughs> Until then... Have a good night, guys. I love your faces, and I'll see you guys soon, okay? So, good night, everybody. I will see you later.